with a couple of schools that are fairly close together, Nolan, but not in the same league. But it does make for an interesting matchup, doesn't it? Yes, it was quite the trip up Route 10 today through Cheshire and Hamden. We'll start in Cheshire, and you know what? The Cheshire Rams, they've been on quite the rampage this year. 11 wins and 13 tries, but number 14, would they be able to win on Senior Day, hosting Senior Day for their 2017 class of seniors, and they were trying to send them off with a big W. But the story in this game would be Glastonbury's offense. Maria D. Piazza is going to play Plinko off the goaltender stick for the goal. Then, Vittori Hurley, she's going to find Catherine Grazzi. Check this out, making a couple cut moves. She almost falls down. I don't know how she keeps her balance on that one, and she finds it in the back of the net. Guess what, guys? There's a lot of great combinations. I personally suggest peanut butter and jelly, but you know what? This combination of Hurley to Guanchi, if it keeps working, hey, keep doing it. Later on, same side of the field, it would be Kenzie Ferrara. She would find Angela McCarthy full speed ahead to the back of the net, not even slowing down, didn't even break stride. And then it would be Guanchi. She is a great facilitator behind the net, just sees the field brilliantly, finds Carolyn Book in front. Glastonbury would roll in this one. 11 to 6 would be your final. This was Cheshire's third loss of the season. But the good news for the Rams, they're still 11 and 3 here in 2017. Heading south down Route 10, good old Whitney Avenue, to Hamden High School. Dragons hosting the Gales of Shelton. Hamden trying to get back after this first possession. Allie Ferraro finding, will find the crochet for Hamden. She's up right here as that was Rachel Drost on the goal. But once again, Ferraro for Hamden. Back and forth early, but it would be Shelton that would begin to pull away. Drost finding Katie Lindbergh. Stop, start, and goal. Hey. Good job right there, getting through the defenders. Then Morgan Zayas, she's going to take her time just surveying the field, looking for that right spot. And when she finds it, she's going to accelerate and then find the back of the net. And this team, they can also play in transition. It wasn't just the game in front of the net. Check out how they stretch the field here, going with a full 50 yards in just a matter of seconds. It's going to be Amanda Wadaka with the bounce goal. Shelton's offense was red hot today as the Gales would go on to win this one by the final score of 16 to four over the Dragons. And interesting for Shelton, eight and five on the season now, but the really interesting fact is they're playing their best lacrosse right here at the end of the season. Consider this, in the last six games, Shelton has won five of those six and they're looking really good and playing their best lacrosse at the time they need to be. Guys, back to you.